guys, we have a frozen up pain unit. I checked this unit out several years ago, and I guess it's been smooth sailing ever since. There's actually a video on YouTube, I don't know, two or three years ago. But it's frozen up now, so we gotta figure out why. I'm gonna pop it into heat mode by unplugging the reversing valve wire so it melts the ice off the coil and off these lines. Walk out on the street and see the passers by. One's at your feet and those that are right in your eyes. One's at your feet and at your eyes. One's at your feet and at your eyes. You see the cars going to the places. Guys, I have the old smart tool out here. We're running at 228 over 79 back and looking pretty good, really. Uh, I don't think it's overcharged. We have a little bit high subcoin. I think we just need to run for a little while here, but we shall see. Uh, target subcoin I have to check, but we actually might be in range anyway. It might have been 11. But so charge looks pretty good. I think we have an issue with the blower capacitor causing the blower not to start or run at a low RPM inefficiently. So there's a little water dripping out of the back of that coil. Can't really get there. It's just some ice trapped in the back of it that I can't reach. So it's kind of a mess back there, but it looks like the system might be okay. As you can see guys, we have a suction pressure that is about eight or nine degrees lower than our previous pressure. Our superheat has come down as well on the TXV. Subcooling's up a little bit, but it looks like what this is here is the effects of our thicker filter. We have one of those super filters in there. So super filters cut down on airflow. Sometimes that is not worth their super filtration. So keep that in mind when you're picking out filters. Sometimes those little farty rock stoppers that cost a dollar are the best ones for your static pressure.